Elon Musk just said his Gigawatt AI cluster has a non-trivial chance of achieving AGI. Non-trivial. In risk assessment, that means 0.1% to 5%. He's literally saying there's a 95% chance it won't work. Pretty much the same thing my high school uh, basketball coach used to tell me. Uh, I had a better chance of getting hit by lightning than getting into a close game. I didn't care. Meant I didn't get sweaty. Meant I didn't have to take a shower. Meant I was first one on the bus with the cheerleaders. Hey, poor me. Meanwhile, his Grok 4 tops every benchmark by being so smart it's stupid. Overthinking simple questions like a PhD student asked to make toast. Welcome to the AI Fuster Cluck, where even our successes are failures and a 5% chance of AGI is supposed to justify destroying millions of careers. And please take a second, if you would, hit the thumbs up button and subscribe if you haven't. We have, uh, we have free beer and beef jerky on Fridays, so uh, yeah, hit those buttons and come on over. So let's uh, decode non-trivial chants, shall we? For nuclear meltdowns, 0.1% is non-trivial. Uh, for getting fired, 5% is non-trivial. For achieving AGI, Elon's basically buying a lottery ticket. He's building a gigawatt cluster, 200,000 H100 equivalents that needs its own power plants. For what? A 5% shot that, uh, you know, it's going to work? <laughs> it's something he can't... He's not even sure how to define. Uh, but here's the perfect metaphor for our timeline. Grok 4 is number one on benchmarks. Scores 100% on advanced math, tops coding tests, and developers absolutely hate it. Why? It 200 IQs everything. Takes forever to answer because it's contemplating the universe when you ask if you should change your underwear daily. Too smart for its own good. Elon created the world's most annoying genius. It's like that girl in class when the teacher says, if there aren't any more questions, you can go. And of course, she raises her hand when she could have just waited for class to be over and gone up and asked the teacher. But no, she has to do it while everybody's still sitting there. Remember those days? Uh, the cherry on top, Elon thinks AI will increase birth rates. <laughs> His evidence? Some guy claims his AI girlfriend, Annie, gave, gave him confidence to get real girlfriends pregnant. This is their vision. This is their plan. Not curing cancer, not solving world hunger, teaching nerds to reproduce. While Elon hedges with non-trivial, everyone else is abandoning AI, AGI uh, completely. Sam Altman just said, AGI isn't a useful term. Eric Schmidt, stop fixating on AGI after predicting it in three to five years. GPT-5, GPT just expensive autocomplete with routing. They promise godlike intelligence. They delivered chatbots that lose money. And her, here's the dirty secret. Grok 4 is just Grok 3 with 10 times more reinforcement learning. Not a breakthrough, just brute force. Like making a C student memorize every possible test question. They'll ace the test, but, you know, understand nothing, which pretty much explains my whole educational career right there. And that's our, pro our progress, throwing computed problems until something slightly better emerges. Uh, something better sticks. It's like my daughter the other day in the, uh, the kitchen, the vaulted ceiling, she threw a piece of spaghetti up there to see if it would stick, and it, it stuck. It's been about three weeks now, and it's still up there. When you can't deliver AGI, just redef redefine it out of existence. It's not failure if success was never defined, right? Kind of like the, the uh, uh, cancel culture. Just cancel it. The AI isn't smart enough to cure cancer, but it is smart enough to replace you and me. Customer service, you know, chat bots. Basic coding, co-pilot, content creation, AI slop, data entry, already gone. Not AGI, just good enough AI destroying careers. 
That sounds like the football college uh, play-by-play guy telling you who's today, today's game is brought to you by. Brought to you by Tides, when you want your clothes to smell like the inside of a dead crab. And by Not AGI, just good enough to put you out of work and your ass on the streets. Oh, and where are us uh, Gen Xers in all of this? 14% laid off in the past 10 years. 24% can't find new jobs. 11% wage cuts for those of us who do. Replaced not by super intelligence, but by autocomplete that costs more than all of our homes put together. Total bills so far, Meta $10 billion on data centers. Needs three gas plants. OpenAI $500 billion valuation with zero profit. Microsoft $13 billion invested, no AGI. Elon, gigawatt cluster for a 5% chance. Trillions spent for marginally better chatbots that overthink everything. And speaking of bots, <laughs> I didn't have a good transition there. 50% of web traffic is already bots. Soon bots negotiating with bots. AI pricing for AI customers. Humans just watching. Dogs and cats sleeping together. And people shooting at cans because they hate these cans. We're building infrastructure for machines to disappoint each other. Could it change? Yeah, maybe. Better regulation, real breakthroughs, quantum computing. But right now, we're getting the worst of both worlds. Almost the opposite of the uh, Van Halen song. All the job losses, none of the benefits. We were promised AGI cures cancer, solves climate change, creates abundance. Yes, job losses, but worth it in the long run. You know, it's just going to be us 10 Xers, who cares? Reality, AI too smart to be useful. Developers hate it. Climate worse from data centers. Wealth concentration. All job losses, zero benefits. This is our uh, stupid apocalypse. No Skynet, not super intelligence, no I'll be back. Just extensive unemployment. Uh, overthinking chat bots, 5% chances sold as destiny, birth rate solutions via AI girlfriends, trillions burned for marginal gains, and pay to the order of Agnes Nussbaum, $2.09. Your job won't be taken by AGI. It'll be taken by something with a non-trivial chance of being useful. The future won't be utopia or dystopia, just expensive mediocrity punctuated by tech brothers Claiming their 5% lottery tickets will save humanity. My daughter laughs at me. She says, it's tech bros, not tech brothers. Oh, well, I ain't hip. It's hip to be square. Welcome to the worst timeline where we get all the disruption of an AI revolution with none of the intelligence and none of the fun. At least if AGI destroyed us, it would be interesting. Instead, we get slow unemployment via, via expensive stupidity. Elon Musk says there's a non-trivial chance this all works out. There's a much more trivial chance he's right. I'll see you in the next episode. <laughs>